So you have a presentation coming up and you're using Google Slides and your presentation looks really, really boring. And by boring, I mean, it's literally gonna be the cookie cutter, like Google Slides, really boring white and black template, right? Well, look no further because I'm here to help you guys out on how to essentially make your slides look better, more professional and just get a better impression from everybody, whether it's a college presentation, a work presentation. Now I'm using Google Slides in particular, so not to be mistaken with PowerPoint. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. So just a preview here, this is gonna be my Google Slides. And I am doing this presentation on my you know, home country, Indonesia, right? I have three slides. So I have the title slide and I'm gonna have fun facts about Indonesia here. So just four bullet points, very, very easy and simple. And I'm going to have uh, Indonesian loved foods, right? So these are like foods that we love. I'm, I'm Indonesian and I love these foods myself. So the first approach I want to talk about is um, this uh, website called slidesgo.com. Now slidesgo, they kind of give you like PowerPoint or Google Slides templates. But for me, for today, I'm feeling a little challenged. kind of want to step away from templates and kind of make everything from scratch. So here, this photo here, uh, I grabbed it from a website called pexels.com. Pexels.com is essentially where I get all my stock photos and videos. If you guys don't know yet, um, this is a free royalty free um, stock photo website. So I'm just going to I typed in Indonesia earlier, but I'm just going to type it in again. And essentially, this is the first one that I grabbed um, first photo here. I just thought it looks kind of cool. What I enjoy doing in terms of doing PowerPoint presentations or, you know, Google Slides presentations, is I like my title slide to be bold. Like I like the image to be full screen. I don't know. It's just me but I really enjoy it if I do make this photo full screen. Um, I know I could make this into the background, but I am just going to essentially drag this photo here. Um, I can like this looks good and I could definitely crop this photo as well. So I want to crop it. So it, it kind of fits the, uh, the boom, there you go. And I could always like drag it up and down, right? in terms of like how I want to slide this photo. So I could always change the format here. So I could always recolor this uh, image if I ever want to recolor it or just have like brightness adjustments, right? So I could literally lower down the brightness. And what I like to do is I usually like to lower down the brightness and kind of up the contrast a little bit. So it kind of pops and I'm lowering down the brightness to, you know, negative 25. I'm upping the contrast to maybe about plus 20. And you can see already that it's it's giving that like pop color for this background right now for this title uh, i'm just gonna get rid of this um and i am going to actually insert a text box and i'm gonna make it the title which is indonesia right so whoops did not mean to paste that okay so here is indonesia i'm going to make this font to be big big and bold right you can see now why i darkened the you know the background color uh, or the background image because when I turn this up, you can see how it looks very, very vibrant and it looks it just it just contrasts. It's a nice contrast between the dark and the and the light color here. So you get the whole picture here of, you know, the Indonesian, you know, the boat and the nice background, the sunset or sunrise, whatever it is. And you get this nice um, text of Indonesia, right? It, like it catches the eye. I chose this font. It's called Poppins. Uh, it's, you know, right here. Poppins, there's different you know types there's extra bold bold um I, i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna do bold the bold looks the bold looks nice and i'm just gonna insert a line you know N nothing wrong with the line right like i'm just gonna draw a simple line like this and i'm going to make it about four or maybe three pixels uh three pixels uh thick make it white again as you as you see here and boom it already kind of has a nice simple and modern uh, look to it, right? Um, what I could do here as well is I could also do a drop shadow, which kind of makes it pop even more. So you can change the transparency over here. So going to the left means more shadow. I'll just do like a, you know, a nice, uh, nice 30% over here. Um, distance, I could make it a little bit popping like five and the blur radius. I kind of want it to be like a soft 10. So that looks good. That, that to me looks really good. I could, you know, apply the same thing here. 5, 10, and I believe transparency was about like 20. I want to, I want to add like, you know, by me, right? Obviously I made this presentation. I'm just going to put my first name, last initial, drop the font all the way to probably like 30, just right here. fits perfectly right under this line right here. Boom. Right. That works perfectly. So I could kind of scoot this line a little bit up over here, move it like this. And then boom. Okay. So it looks already 
10 times better in my opinion than the original boom right this is like boring this is black and white very very boxy you know images just like randomly here slapped on right this one is like wow you really get a nice like vibrant picture too in the back right what i probably want to do is i'm going to add a little um text box and i just you know just a, just a brief synopsis of my what my presentation is about right i'm just gonna you know th like uh, think of this from my head i'm just gonna type in we will you know uncover the beautiful islands and um traditions of my beloved country indonesia but there are many hidden gems and secrets located within the heart of indonesia boom so we again put this here i am going to stick with the same font so i'm going to go with poppins and then i'm going to do a medium here so i i could definitely put this like down here you see how it's kind of like i don't know kind of a little bit hard to see i'm just going to insert a you know a shape here i'm going to insert insert a rectangle and i'm going to make this color um black oops did not want to do that let's go over here and add a custom color here you see so if i add a custom color here i could change the transparency and i can make it a little bit dark like kind of like this right um make it black cool so now we have this transparent box here in the back which perfectly fits if we actually move this a little bit to the back, send backward, boom. So now we have this nice box for the text that I just wrote and it will literally just fit right in here. And if the color is ever too, it's still hard to read, you could always change the color here to uh, make it more, you know, more opaque, boom. So here we go. So here's what we have now. And here's what we have before same photo same title same name but obviously different um you know this is more vibrant i i i really like this one better than this one so that's already how you make a nice title slide in my opinion so again uh i kind of like i like this photo a lot so i'm going to copy that i'm going to bring it over here again i grabbed that from pexels um again if you, you could grab your own photo or um go to google images or whatever your resource is Again, I like to make this big. So again, grabbing this, grabbing the style that I have here, I'm gonna paste it and do a fun fact about Indonesia. So I'm going to shrink this again, shrink, shrink, shrink. Now here's what I like to do, right? Like fun facts about, and Indonesia is like my main subject here, right? So I don't know, like graphic designers love this a lot. I, you know, I do this a lot with my thumbnails and everything. I just like to make this part like stand out a little bit bigger. So it's like this, right? Um, in terms of line spacing, I could always like change it. So if it seems like it's too, uh, how do you say it? it's too like far apart from each other? Cause you see how there's a lot of like a big gap here. I could even cut this, right? Make another and just paste it here, or I guess copy paste this, right? And then do Indonesia here. And then I'm going to just make this bigger like I did earlier. And now check this out. I could drag this up here and get rid of that gap that I have earlier. So here you go. Now I have four bullet points here and a general rule for me for bullet points is bullet points or lists are, they're pretty boring, right? You kind of want to make it like, I don't know, stand out, I guess. So what I want to do here is essentially I want to insert a little shape like a like a rectangle right boom like this and i'm gonna make it like i i'm gonna try to make it equidistant to each other so let's see yep, there you go so what i like about google slides like they kind of like make stuff equidistant and now i want to make them the dark color that i did so now i have here i have four boxes right oh this i just realized this one has a really ugly stroke i don't want that yeah there you go so i, I want to get rid of that line too uh in that case i'm gonna bump back the transparency down a little bit just a little bit like this okay so again like i said bullet points boring no 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 i don't want no bullet points there um and what i'm gonna do instead is actually go take a look at these texts right i'm going to insert the text box here so i'm literally going to just essentially do the same thing i've been doing again and again and again 
um, and I'm going to kind of center it because you know it's I don't want it to be centered make the text color white oh sorry that's not text color I don't know what I'm doing text color white there you go I like to highlight my key points here so Indonesia is home to over a hundred endangered animals right a hundred endangered animals is probably what is interesting to me so I'm going to change this color to yellow right just so it kind of sticks out right uh, I could even bold this too like this right so now I have Indonesia's home to over 100 endangered animals. Now, what I really like to do is to add icons. I get my icons from flaticon.com. Um, there's some free licensing, paid licensing. Uh, I, I just, I go here for all my icons. So I'm just gonna type in animal, right? Well, it comes out as animal. Well, this paw print comes up, right? And it seems to be pretty nice. So I'm going to copy this paw print here. It's from FreePick. This is a free for personal commercial use with attribution. Um, you know, if you're not going to publicize this, I mean, you could you could you could put attributions later on in the very end of the slide. Right. So here I have this icon here. It's black. I'm going to do a recolor, make it white. If you do a negative, it kind of just flips the uh, black and white. Now you can already see how this how I'm going to lay this out. Right. So I'm going to have a, a box here, icon here, text here, along with the highlighted key point. OK. So there you go. I am going to change this. Actually, I could kind of squeeze this out a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Boom. Now you see how suddenly the presentation looks a little bit more less template and cookie cuttery, right? This looks good. And I'm not using any templates. Like I said, I, I've just did this from scratch. You know that you see me, you know, doing this and this from scratch. This looks great. I, I, I believe like if you come up to the stage and you present like this. This is like a clean and nice modern presentation, right? It has contrasting colors. It has, you know, things that pop off, things that pop out. It's not hard to see. It's not hard to read. So let's move on to the third slide here. Indonesian love foods, right? You kind of have to make a connection of what is going on with your um, with your PowerPoint or with your slides. So Indonesian love foods, I believe that the best foods in Indonesia from personal experience is going to be street vendors, right? So I'm going to type in street vendor here and boom, the, you just have a street vendor here. I'm just going to copy this image and I don't know. No one's really going to know like the background and stuff, right? Like I'm going to paste in here, copy it here again, do the same cropping trick. I, again, like I said, I know you can uh, definitely for sure change the, what is it called? You could change it. So it's the background. I know, I know. Don't yell at me. I am just here to do my stuff. Okay, again, turn brightness down um, and contrast up, right? And I, I wanna grab these photos. So this is nasi goreng, which is the loved, beloved uh, food item. So I'm gonna, again, grab the box. I'm gonna post it in here. And this one, I could kind of just stretch it out, like kind of like this, right? And then the title for Nasi Goreng, I'm just going to steal my name here. Again, there's a lot of copy pasting, but you know, that's what I like about it because you could definitely, um, you don't have to keep formatting everything, right? So Nasi Goreng, love this, put this here. And then I'm going to, again, I'm going to steal this. I want to actually steal this line right here. Let me steal this line, move this back. Sorry for moving you. Steal this line here, put this over here underneath Nasi Goreng. You can see already where I'm going to go with this. And then, and I am going to steal this and put this over here. And I'm going to title it Indonesian loved foods or I don't know, Indonesian favorite foods. Okay, boom. There you go. Put this right there. This nasi goreng, I, I want to make sure it's left aligned. Okay, perfect. And now I can just grab again, like I said, there's a lot of copy paste, but bear with me here. We are going to copy paste this and I am going to grab this over here and paste. So control shift V, it keeps the formatting. I should have done that earlier. I don't know why I didn't, but boom, there you go looking nice looking great and the second one i'm just gonna slap this right on right here but i don't like how they're you know side you know top top and bottom like this right you gotta change it up a little bit you gotta like put it over here you know 
And then I'm going to copy this, paste it here. I'm going to have, this is a different height, which kind of bugs me, but it's okay. We could, we could deal with that, right? Or should we make it the same height? Okay, we'll make it the same height. Cause I'm, you know, I try to make this look very, very nice and balanced and such. Okay, I don't like how it's getting stretched. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna make it big here. We're gonna crop this to that size, boom. And then now we place it here, you see? So now this is back the same size. Copy this, paste it. You're gonna, you're gonna drag it down over here. Boom. I guess I'll do side say. Okay, so there you go. I mean, just have a look at this, right? Uh, let me first change this color because I wanted to pop again. Okay, so you can see here, these are the old Google Slides presentations, right? You got, you know, the, the boring Indonesia here, boring fun facts, you know, boring, you know, Indonesian low foods, whatever. To the, lo and behold, the new one, which is again, vibrant, it pops, contrasting colors, very easy to read. You know, all this boxes with icons and it's again, very, very visually appealing, right? And again, this is the Indonesian favorite foods that I've, you know, put together. So again, comparison, Boom, 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 a comparison and comparing it with boom, boom, boom. I, I would best believe that the last three slides are much, much better and more vibrant. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and the outcome of the presentation slides. If you are a student and you're actually looking for presentation advice, then feel free to click this video right here that I've made before on presentation advice, tips, and hacks to get you a good grade. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys all in the next video.